Hello there, it's Todd Orr from NW10 Photography and welcome back to part two of this uh, video tutorial showing you how to take an image from a camera through Photoshop, Camera Raw, Photoshop itself, the edit, uh, keyword it as well as upload it to the agencies. Now the, this part in my opinion is one of the most important parts. It pays to sit down, have a pen and paper handy and carefully think um, what keywords you're going to use, how you're going to describe your image and how you're going to title it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it from where we ended in part one and it was we'd completed our image, we got it ready, we saved it and now we have to go to file we scroll down to file info um, there is a shortcut which is alt shift control i that's alt shift control i and that will open a dialog box for you and it's pretty much like this there's loads of selections loads of fields and you only need to be concerned with three boxes the first one is document title description and keywords the beauty of this firstly is that if you've used a particular title for a similar image uh, when you start typing it it'll probably recognize it and it'll it's like predictive text it will show you a list of potential titles uh, saves time very important we've got loads of images to um, go through the description section is where you describe your image um, I've got a particular way of doing it um, I've learnt it that way and I'll stick to it um, and the keywords are here basically as it says uh, the instruction here says semicolons or commas can be used to separate multiple va separate sorry multiple values so make sure you use semicolons or commas when separating your keywords. Now we're going to go th through these uh, various boxes. We'll take it from the top with document title. So the document title, bear in mind that various agencies only give a certain number of characters uh, for document titles. Um, and what you're doing here is you're embedding that information and it's automatically going to populate those fields when your image is uploaded to the agency and like I say what you don't want is that the program of that agency will just cut it off and if you've got a huge title it might just cut it off halfway and that's just time being wasted so here I keep it uh, short and sweet uh, and in this case I'll call it abstract background tile texture okay then I'll go into description. Now description, like I said a moment ago, I've got my own particular way. I've already written something down, so I'm just going to paste what I've written. And it might seem a bit long-winded, but it works. Keywords. This is where, um, if you've got a word processor, you can have that open, uh, a thesaurus, um, pen and paper handy. So what I how I start and how I still do it I'll get a piece of paper and I'll write down the um, title of the image or the image itself and I'll do that mind map technique where you've got your image in the center your title and you work away from it so in this case we've got uh, an, a, a floor tile really so you know we've got a floor tile we write that down then I know what I'm submitting it as an abstract background texture so I'll write that down as well and then arrows coming from there now beauty of this is you get a thesaurus go through look for the words and you look for the similar words as such and then you write them down type them in as a keyword alternatively um, go to a word processing document type out the words okay and then what I do is I highlight it let's say abstract for example I'll press shift and F7 and that will bring up a thesaurus for you um, okay uh, let's see nothing here that I look around okay so let's say tile I'll highlight tile shift F7 um, and it's got 
various different synonyms for you there and so forth. Um, you might think, well, house, brown, floor, bathroom, ceramic, why is that relevant? Well, it is. A tile uh, can be used in a house or in a commercial premises, bathroom or kitchen. Someone might be uh, using a looking for a tile but not using specific keywords. But at the same time, you've got to be careful. You can't just litter your keywords with junk because whoever's reviewing it will realise it and you'll get penalised for it. Furthermore, um, there I think there's a facility on, on pretty much all of the agencies where if someone sees uh, an image and it has used irrelevant keywords, it can be reported and um, you can get penalised by the agency and that's something that you don't want. So how do I start? Well, I'll start off with abstract. Uh, we'll make some background. Uh, we've got texture. Okay, so we've worked from there, and again, I can go back to uh, my word processor, and I say I've done abstract, I've done background, I've done texture. I'm happy with that. We've got tile. Uh, we've got kitchen, house, brown, floor. So we'll type all those in. Um, also, take into consideration plurals and American and. English spelling. So um, we could have uh, brown color, American spelling, uh, or color, which is the English spelling. Because again, take into consideration a lot of countries around the world, they tend to Americanize their English as opposed to UK English. So we'll go through that. We'll go brown, color, color. We've got there's beige, uh, there's light the light colour, we've got um, uh, floor, floors, surface, uh, surfacing, sorry, wrongly spelled surfacing, and so on. Now once you've completed that, you then click OK. What that does, that's embedded all that information uh, into your image, and I'll go back to File, Save As. Uh, I want this image, but I want it as a JPEG. And I'm just checking. It says Abstract Background Texture. Okay, okay, I'm happy with all of that. I save it. You want to save it as the uh, highest possible quality. Uh, it's the large file, maximum 12. Again. OK. Now it's saving it. Now this image is ready to upload. So just going through as a recap, when you've edited your image, you go into File Info, which is File, File Info. There's only three boxes that you need to be concerned with. That is Document Title, Description and Keywords. Naturally, I'm going to complete these keywords uh, before I upload them, there's a few more that I want to put in there. You click OK. Don't forget to either Control S to save your image, to save those edits, and um, the image is ready. And again, keywords, don't waste keywords, think carefully, um, don't use irrelevant keywords because again, that will penalise you. Because what you've got to remember is you want your image to be found when a designer or whomsoever is looking for this image. And don't forget, once an image is uh, sold 10, 10, 20, 30 times, if it's a successful image, it means that with some agencies, especially Dreams Time, if you sell over a certain amount of images, you get more revenue. You almost, you know, it's a reward for selling more and more images, and again, that's increased revenue for yourself. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, queries, uh, something you're not sure about, or even you want to just make a comment you, you about the tutorial, please feel free to do so. You can do so via Facebook on. Um, Facebook dot forward sorry dot com forward slash nw10 photography uh, alternatively my website uh, nw10 photography dot com uh, and I'll respond as soon as possible. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it once again. And the third part of this tutorial will show you 
very easy how to upload your image to the agency and the interface that the agency supplies to uh, finalize that image before it's looked at by the reviewers and approved or declined and uh, that's something I'll discuss next time with you. Thanks very much and speak soon. Bye.